Good evening, my name is Arvaiti May. I'm a veterinarian, and I have a number of concerns regarding the smart meters as well as the opt-out fees. I think this imposition on consumers to authorize the smart meters by penalizing them with a charge for not allowing them is just one example of, of many in our society today where technology is being pushed on people before adequate testing has been done to verify the safety and health effects of these technologies. Now, it's possible that those who invented this idea or proposed it had good intentions? No. No. Maybe not, I don't know. I, I would like to learn more about it. But my point is, regardless of whether their intentions were good or not, we need to look at the effects that these uh, these smart meters are having on people's health. I've heard reports of people having adverse health effects which range from ringing in the ears to migraine headaches and a number of other sensitivity issues. And the fact that there are a certain percentage of people who are sensitive to wireless should even underscore the importance of them having some refuge in this whole world where they can be free from that harassment. If they have, they can't go into Starbucks, they can't go into a lot of places that have Wi-Fi. Well, at least they should be able to be in their own comfort of their own home without being bombarded with that. So it's unfair to charge these opt-out fees to citizens who are trying to protect their own health. And as an earlier speaker mentioned, we're all grieving over the loss of the children in Connecticut who were massacred. And what this is, is perhaps not as blown up on the media, but it still has long-term effects on many people's lives and effects that we may not even be able to identify for many years to come because it has not been tested adequately. Cell phone towers are another example of a health concern, which is become more of an issue because of the numbers of them and how prominent they are and how close they are to people's residences. There have been reports of de developmental disorders that have occurred from that, uh, brain tumor formation, and many other health issues. In addition to that, as the planet is in a perilous condition right now, I have to wonder how sustainable are these so-called smart meters when they have to take them out and replace them with new ones? What are they doing with the old analog meters? I would like to know. They destroy them. So that's, if they're destroying them, they're filling out landfills. So thank you for your consideration and please reconsider the opt-out fees and get rid of them.